Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about Injective Protocol. INJ, one of the more popular coins on this channel, um, but not as popular as Solana. Um, you know, also one of the, the coins that did perform quite well uh, after a breakout above this green line here, which was our breakout point at around $10, was also a psychological resistance. And uh, yeah, it formed here. Initially, I thought it formed here some kind of a triangle, but I think, um, but I already made you aware in the last video, I think it's more like um, the way four bottomed here on the 15th of June, yeah? So we basically started a five wave move down here in June and we had a wave one, two, uh, and then this long third wave. It's all a diagonal, it's a bit messy. And then this um, fourth wave completed basically here, it's a bit short for a fourth wave, but completed um, middle of June. This uh, at this swing low that was made at around five dollars and forty, and then we're now watching for a uh, for an ABC structure higher, and the A wave is complete, the B wave is complete, and the C wave is probably in the making. Now the C wave is a five wave move, and I can already count three waves. Yeah, so it would look better with just one more high, and then this structure could technically be complete, and then we could get a deep pullback. All right, so I just want to make you aware. Um, that this is probably incoming, probably not yet. I mean, um, at least from what I can see, if we say we are in the C wave, then, you know, ideally I'd like to see one more high here. It might be that it needs two more highs because look, we're dealing with an altcoin here and the subwave structure isn't always crystal clear, but I've got a one, two here. Um, then we can argue, all right, you, you know, is this another one, two? And it might be, but then was this a 3-4? And that's just not entirely clear. But we can keep it simple and say that against the 50% retracement level of that rally, we can focus on higher because that's support for the fourth wave. And that's at $11.45, which means if that setup breaks, or that level breaks, then it's at least likely that a deeper pullback is incoming, okay? Um, it might then retest first the $10 level, but the impulsive character of the move up is gone. So where this C wave could be an impulse, which is ideal oftentimes within diagonal structures, these C waves are impulses. Well, that would turn into something messy. So we don't really want to trade that. We like to focus on the impulses. And this here is an impulse as long as it's holding an $11, the $11.45 level. It's now consolidating around that 23.6 retracement at $15.05 around one of our target areas that we mentioned in previous videos, which was here um, around $16. Yeah, So <laughs> you could argue it's also a massive inverse head and shoulders, which might be forming here if we get another right shoulder, but that could be the wave too, right? That could be, we'll see, we'll see. Um, first of all, yeah, I can only say that against the micro support level, another high would look better. And the next target would be around $21.41 and then $27.80. Yeah, it might be that we get one more high or two more highs. And uh, then we're going to track the relevant micro support levels. And as soon as one of them breaks, and that would be now $11.45, then the risk of a deeper pullback increases. We also um, probably dealing with this price channel here. So when the trend line breaks down, that's also a signal that something more bearish might be going on. But for now, I would remain focused on higher. That's my update about INJ. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.